Ano pong position ng hawak nyo ngayon? Uh, Mr. Chair, I was not designated as OIC Chief of Staff the while, last time. While, while Attorney Lopez was away, is that correct? No, Mr. Chair. I was only designated only for October 18, 2024, for one day only, Mr. Chair. One day? Yes, Mr. Chair. Sandali ka lang naman pala nag OIC, ano? isang araw lang. Bakit yes. isang araw lang? Uh, Mr. Chair, at that time, both of them were on travel and they returned the week after. So who was acting, uh, um, Attorney Lopez, who was acting in your capacity while you were away? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, while I was away, I understand it was the Assistant Secretary, Mr. Lemuel Ortonio, who was the officer in charge of the OVP. Okay, the same person that we're talking about, no? Uh, yes, Your Honor, but I left early on. Eh? I was away um, November 4. So if he is in official travel, who granted him that uh, travel authority? Uh, I beg your indulgence. I was not able to see yet the travel authority because as I mentioned earlier, I really just arrived and that was not really... Uh, one of the documents yeah, I because he have cannot, gone through. He cannot issue the travel authority to himself. Yes. So him being the one in charge. So my question is, who issued his travel authority? So you were not there. Yes. So it's Attorney Sanchez. Um, Mr. Chair, I will check for, with the office, but I have not seen the travel authority, Mr. Chair. So but he, he does have a travel authority. Can you confirm that he has a travel authority? I have, I am not aware, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, can you be kind enough to ask your uh, office? Um, maybe we can get that information within the hour. Kasi nakakapagtaka lang, Mr. Chair, siya po yung officer in charge. At sinasabi niya na wala siya dito, although pinangako niya na darating siya. So medyo hindi, po lang, hindi ko lang po maitugma yung... Dahilan kung bakit hindi pa rin siya sumisipot. So, that's it, Mr. Chair, no? Chair, in, in line with this Thank you. manifestation of Congressman the SJJ, Zia. yes, in line with the manifestation of uh, the SJJ, I think we all know, as a re ad regular administrative processes, whenever you are requesting for a, uh, tra a travel uh, authority, alam po naman natin talaga, it's the principal, as the head of the agency that uh, really approves that. So, I don't think it would take I guess Attorney Sanchez to verify from the office who authorized the travel uh, authority of this particular individual. I'm, I mean, judging from the way the administrative processes is being practiced and exercised in the bureaucracy and all bureaucracies in the government, we know that it would be, it it would be the you know, the vice president uh, who would probably um, grant the travel authority to this particular. Am I correct? Mr. Chair, um, based on the delegation of authorities in our office order, uh, the approval for travel orders of the Chief of Staff and the Assistant Chief of Staff uh, belong to the head of agency, Mr. Chair. That, 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 that's it. Who is the head of the agency? Uh, the Vice President, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mayroon ba po? Kung wala na po, we will now proceed to the next yes, uh, BS, uh, J. Suarez. Medyo napakahirap po kasing lunokin itong uh, patuloy na pag evade ng mga opisyales na iniimbitahan natin dito. Um, may I just manifest, Mr. Chair, that as we progress, and I hope na we can conclude this committee hearing in the next few weeks, can we also look into the possibility of uh, administrative uh, sanctions against these individuals who continue to defy um, invitations, subpoenas, contempt orders against these public officials? Malingkod ba yan po ito, Mr. Chere? So, binabasa ko po yung uh, mga batas uh, patungkol po sa mga public officials ay talagang tungkulin po nila yung humarap sa mga ganitong pandinig at kung patuloy po silang umiiwas hindi pupunta at hindi dadalo at gagawa ng kung ano-ano mang dahilan 
Eh, sa palagay ko po, Mr. Chair, dapat mapag-aralan din po ng komitibang ito kung ano pong mga kasong administratibo ang pwede pong ipataw sa kanila dahil hindi po ito sumusunod sa alituntunin ng isang lingkod bayan. So that's my short manifestation, Mr. Chair, with regards to Acosta, to um, Sunshine Fajarda, to uh, Ortonio, and to Mr. Fajarda. So thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, short comment lang din, Mr. Chair. Yes, Congressman Manuel. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, dagdag dun sa nabanggit na ating mga kapa mababatas. Uh, Mr. Chair, kung ganito yung tipo ng mga excuses na matatanggap ng committee, sa totoo lang ay uh, parang sampal na rin to sa taong bayan, Mr. Chair. Eh. Kasi halimbawa itong sulat ni Mr. Lemuel Ortonio, gusto po niya na malift daw yung contempt order and arrest order para raw maka siya dito sa committee. Eh, in the first place, Mr. Chair, hindi siya dumadalo, kaya siya pinatawa ng contempt order and arrest order, tapos para bang nagsiset pa siya ng condition sa atin para, para raw makapag-participate talaga siya. Eh, parang niloloko tayo dito, Mr. Chair. Pangalawa, ito pong sulat ni na Sunshine Paharda, Edward Paharda, tsaka Gina Acosta, kasi raw may ginagawa sila sa OVP. Eh, Mr. Chair, kung ganito pala, eh, baka kahit isamon po natin sila 20 times dito sa committee, pwede sabihin lang nila, meron silang official duties sa Office of the Vice President. At yun yung kanilang gagamitin excuse para hindi sila dumalo. Pag ganun, Mr. Chair, actually, kaya nga tayo nag-hold ng mga hearings dito para matiyak na kapag may mga official duties ang mga public officials at merong pondo na nilalaan para sa mga activities nila, eh, nagagamit ng tama yung pondo. We can't allow na magpatuloy lang sa uh, parang normal operations ang mga opisina gaya ng OVP ngayong naungkat nga natin na merong mga kadudadudang transactions. Actually, itong ginagawa natin, Mr. Chair, hmm. makakatulong nga ito para mapabuti pa, supposedly, yung kanilang serbisyo. Wala tayo dito para i-hamper sila sa kano yung kanilang mga gampanin. Kaya, all the more, Mr. Chair, na once and for all, dapat talaga dumalo sila, sila dito at hindi maghapag ng mga uh, actually parang nagiging petty na lang eh, yung kanilang mga ginagamit ng mga dahilan para hindi sila makadalo. Yun lang, Mr. Chair. Salamat. Your Honor. Thank Mr. You. Chair? May... Yes, I Congressman a... uh, Zia. It's very germane to the topic we're discussing right now. I'd, I'd like to ask um, Attorney Sanchez, ma'am, how many times can an employer, for example, uh, a staff, request for a travel authority? May limit pa sa inyo? Ilang beses po yan? Attorney Sanchez. And what are the reasons for, for example, for the head of the agency to grant this request for a travel authority? Yes, Mr. Chair. We do not have a specific limit as to the number of times that a staff can travel as long as the, there is basis or justification and necessity for the travel, Your Honor, uh, it is granted. So, so you have to, for example, Mr. Chair, if I may be allowed, no? kasi gusto ko lang pong malaman dahil parang ang always na nar narason na naririnig natin ay travel, official travel, official travel. Can you categorize to us, paano mo i-differentiate dun sa official travel, how many times can an employee request for official travel? Kung official yan, ha? like the regular operation ng opisina ninyo. Uh, Your Honor, usually for official travels, it's not the employee that requests, but it's the office, office okay. that orders. So what about in personal travel? For personal travel, Your Honor, um, generally it would be based on the available leaves of the staff, but uh, there would be instances when necessary for example if there are medical reasons your honor that can also be granted but without what uh, other reasons are there available that an employee can request for a personal travel I'm, I'm, i believe there is the medical reasons what other reasons can in an employee a regular employee request for a personal travel uh, your honor for personal travel there are different reasons provided by under the CSC guidelines. Uh, it can be vacation or emergency leave, kung namatayan. But uh, different 
And Pero hindi naman sorry. every week or every month magkakaroon ka ng travel, di ba? The reason why I'm asking this, Mr. Chair, and I want to put into record, because the re for since the time that we have started this committee hearings, apparently are there certain individuals who consistently refuse to appear before this committee uh, hearing, despite the the insistence of this committee sending them invitation to appear. And they have even the gall to request to the committee to lift the contempt order, Mr. Chair. Pang ilan na po natin ito? Pang seven? Pang five? Pang anim na po ito, Mr. Chair. Pang anim na ano. So, to me, if you ask me, my personal take on that is there's a deliberate refusal to attend this committee hearing. And there's a deliberate, um, uh, deliberate way to frustrate the proceedings uh, of this committee, which to me, gusto kong tanungin, how many times did they send us an excuse letter citing a uh, travel authority? Kasi parang na na po ito. I think it's time for, for this committee, maybe, perhaps, to really evolve the way that we, the way that we are receive and accept these reasons. Kasi kailangan na natin, tama nga yung sinabi ni Kong Jill, Parang hindi na sila natitinag sa contempt order eh. So we don't want to set this example that anybody who does not like to attend, hindi ko alam kung whatever reason, dahil ayaw lang nila sumagot sa committee na ito, ay gagamitin lang nila yung convenient reason na nagkakaroon sila ng travel order. Travel order, uh, Mr. Chair. Comsec, how many times did they send us the ano, their excuse letter that they are on official travel? Your Honor, from the time as a pina at the certificate was issued, so for success and successfully served from November 11 to to today, since there's a standing um, contempt, for the first four hearings, they sent position papers stating points that uh, why they are not attending. Your Honor, after that, travel orders na po, Your Honor. It's really bothering, Mr. Chair, because tam itinanong ko nga who really approves the travel order. And then it's obviously, Mr. Chair, that there's a, I know, there's a deliberate uh, attempt to really frustrate the proceedings and for this committee to really find out kung ano talaga itong mga allegations na kinakaharap nila na opisina. Just to uh, put that into record, Mr. My manifestation and my frustration as well, Mr. Chair. Thank you. The Chair would like to recognize Congressman Keith Flores. Mr. Chair, kanina pa tayo dito sa... Excuses ni Naparde, and uh, since the Chief of Staff already mentioned that they're an official travel, may I know from the Chief of Staff exactly where the travel is of the spouses of Parda? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, uh, as mentioned earlier, I was not able to see the travel authority of these individuals, Your Honor. But would when you know where the activities are, supposedly? Uh, we Where have, they were sent? Yes, the office of the vice president is actually uh, turning 89 years old, Your Honor. I know. Just yes. give me the place, Pa. I'm I just sorry. need the place. I'm sorry. Uh, we are um, holding several uh, activities across all our 10 satellite offices, Your Honor. So we have in BARM, we yeah, have. I just need where Paharda and the spouses Paharda were sent uh, today. Oh, but, Your Honor, I cannot answer that. Because uh, who I can answer it among the OBP uh, people present? Attorney Sanchez? Thank you. Mr. Chair, I have not seen the travel orders. So you don't know where these people went? You just disappeared or something? Uh, I have not seen the travel orders. Can you call the with... HR? Yes. Where is the activity now? Exactly what city, what town? Because this is my suggestion. The Sergeant at Arms is here. He coordinates with the Chief of Police at the town where they're holding the, the activity. Then execute the enforce the, the contempt order. Tapos, diba? Para, kanina pa tayo eh. Thank you. Pwede po bang maibigay ninyo sa amin yung ano, exact location ngayon ng activities? Uh, we will check, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you po. Now, um, just to uh, give a short comment, no? Um, it is the duty of public officers to appear before Congress or any of its committees. Uh, in fact, in the case of uh, Balag versus Senate of the Philippines, GR number 234608, dated July 3, 2018, 
the Supreme Court had the occasion to rule that the attendance is mandatory when so summoned by Congress is underscored by the fact that failure to do so without legal basis is subject to criminal sanction under Article 150 of the Revised Penal Code. So, para lang po maunawaan ng ating mga kababayan, ito po ay uh, ang hindi po pagdalo sa mga committee hearing ng Kongreso ay uh, pwede pong makasuhan ng kriminal. Dahil ito po ay uh, tinatalaga ng batas na ang pagpunta dito ay mandatory para sa mga public officials. Maraming salamat po. Mayroon pa po bang uh, gustong magsalita? Yes, Comsec, please continue. Your Honor, I would like to recognize Vice Chairperson Honorable Janet L. Garin from the 1st District of Iloilo, Honorable Rolando M. Valeriano from the 2nd District of Manila, and from the Department of Education, Undersecretary for Operations, Mr. Rev. C. A. Escobedo is present. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. We will now proceed to the next item in our agenda. We will continue on the del deliberation. The first to interpolate is okay. the chair would like to recognize the first interpolator, Congressman Zia Alonto Adyong. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Mr. Chair, I'd like to take off from the previous discussions that we had last November 5, Mr. Chair, where the committee has already been has already established a numerous uh, acknowledgement receipts uh, from the Office of the Vice President as well as from the Office uh, Department of Education. Uh, these uh, various of these uh, acknowledgement receipts uh, bear, bearing no names and only signatures, Mr. Chair. No, we have already established that in the last committee hearing. There were even uh, acknowledgement receipts, Mr. Chair, uh, with names that repeatedly, no? Hindi lang dalawang beses, even thrice. Tatlong beses pong nag appear Ito sa mga different sets of acknowledgement receipts. May mga acknowledgement receipts then, Mr. Chair, na pare-pareho ang pagkasulat. Um, at yung iba, yung iba pare-pareho tinta ng, ng kanilang ballpen na ginamit. Na there have been numerous other observations, Mr. Chair, which lead this committee and at least this representation to believe na meron talagang questionable yung processes at mukhang gawa-gawa no? uh, yung itong mga acknowledgement receipts na ito, Mr. Chair. Uh, so since then, since we started discussing about the acknowledgement receipt, Mr. Chair, uh, there were numerous, numerous uh, inquiries from the public asking me kung how important is this acknowledgement receipts are. So, pag-usapan po natin yon, and I think this is part of my manifestation before I go on proceed, to proceed with my questions, Mr. Chair. Ang, uh, ang mga acknowledgement receipts na po ito ay sinumite ng, sinumite ng Office of the Vice President at the Department of Education bilang documentary evidence of payment for the supposed uh, expenses using confidential funds, uh, Mr. Chair. For the record, and to answer the public, Mr. Chair, uh, yung buong kabuuan po ng confidential funds ng Office of the Vice President uh, totaling 500 million pesos as well as the confidential funds of the Department of Education totaling 112.5 million. These amounts were liquidated, liquidated, Mr. Chair, solely through the acknowledgement receipts. Um, totaling with a grand total of 612.5 million of these public funds utilized um, na ginamit na ang binigay lang sa, uh, sa COA as a, as a uh, justification for the utilization of these confidential funds ay yung acknowledgement receipts na marami ho tayong nakita in the previous uh, hearings na medyo questionable. Iba, yung iba ay to a point na nakakatawa, Mr. Chen. I would just like to cite an example and let me go back to the previous, again, uh, acknowledgement receipt that was 
first observed by Chairman Romy Akop. How many um, acknowledgement receipts are we talking here, Mr. Chair? No? Uh, based, based on my office uh, count, there are almost 4,500 acknowledgement receipts na nanggaling po, in total, no? both nanggaling po sa Office of the Vice President, Patanilan po uh, galing po doon sa Department of Education when uh, the Vice President concurrently holding the office as Secretary. Uh, roughly 4,500, 2,670 from the Office of the Vice President submitted uh, acknowledgement receipts and 1,820 with no zero invo no um, invoices, zero official receipts. No? Lahat po ito acknowledgement receipts na walang attachment of proof of identity no or the existence man lang ng yung supposed recipients nito ay buhay or totoong tao so this is this is what we find out during the previous committee hearings and this is what i think the observant observation of this represent, representation would like to find out may i uh, again let me go back to the previous discussion that we had at naging nagkaroon din nito ng national traction i may request the uh, comsec to please flash the first acknowledgement receipt that was uh, noticed by Chairman Akop. Ayan po, Mr. Chair. Yung Mary and uh, Mary Grace <laughs> Piatos. No? Isa po yan sa mga acknowledgement receipt na naisumit eh, sa, sa commis uh, Commission on uh, COCOA, Commission on Audit, na alam naman po natin na yung pangalan na Mary Grace ay isang restaurant, yung Piatos ay isang chichirya. No, if you ask me, uh, medyo questionable kung meron pa hong talagang taong nagngangalang Mary Grace Piatos. Now, we could not find out whether this Mary Grace Piatos is indeed a person or alive because there's no uh, corroborate attachment to it other than the acknowledgement received. Na-receive natin ang permado niya. So, Mr. Chair, uh, this prompted, Mr. Chair, in fact, some of the members here and I guess members who came out with a, uh, ano no, yung pabuya na kung sino man ang makakapagturo, Mr. Chair, sa taong ito na buhay, uh, we are willing to provide uh, 1 million pesos as a reward for anybody who can point us to us whether this Mary Grace Piatos is indeed a person and if she is really around alive, no, Mr. Chair. Uh, also, as Mr. Chair, another observation that I want to ask, I think it was all also already mentioned during the previous hearings, that there are names appearing in both the acknowledgement receipts from the OVP and as well as from the Department of Education. Pero may, may isang pangalan na nag-stand out sa akin among all the acknowledgement receipts na sinumitin nila. So, Mr. Mr. Chair, just to maintain the confid confidentiality of the activities, uh, assuming there were any, such activities, Mr. Chair. I would just like to just um, show to you the signature of this particular acknowledgement receipt which I noticed, Mr. Chair. No? Uh, may I uh, request uh, our ComSec to flash the second? Yan po. <coughs> um, ito po yung acknowledgement receipt galing po yan sa office of the Vice President. Yung set po na sinabmit. Uh, gusto ko lang pong tanungin ang... Uh, Ating ang koala is Mr. Chair is uh, Ms. Ka Kamo Kam Kamora present? May we know if uh, representative from Kowa is present? Are Attorney Kamora. 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 Yes, Attorney Kamora is present. <clears throat> 